We are growing at the Grove. Our vision is to be a growing church for growing people whom Christ will use for growing His kingdom. The 8th Annual Virginia Thompson Scholarship Basketball Tournament is underway Saturday, April the 5th, 2014 at Cameron College Prep School. Team registration is $75 per team. Contact Sister Yolanda Hockett or Sister Tiffany James for more details. Attention all high school seniors. Scholarship applications are now available in the lobby. Stop by the scholarship ministry table. You may apply for one of the following scholarships, Watson Grove, Virginia Thompson, or the Reverend Curtis W. Goodwin Senior Scholarship. The deadline for submissions is June 15, 2014. Please give your completed application to Sister Yolanda Hockett or Sister Tiffany James. Make a Difference Day has been postponed to May 31st. More details will be coming soon. College Tour 2014, March the 23rd through the 28th. We will visit Xavier University, Tulane, LSU, Ole Miss, Southern Mississippi, University of Memphis, and Lane College. The cost of the tour is $200, which includes lodging, transportation, and a visit to the Lorraine Motel and Civil Rights Museum. If you're interested in attending, visit the scholarship table after service. Seating is limited. Pastor and choir will lead worship for the evening session of the Garnett Nabrit Lecture Series at American Baptist College on Monday, March the 17th at 7 p.m. Worship will be held at the Baptist World Center. Meet us there. Pastor Faison will also be preaching the late night service for the Garnett Nabrit Lecture Series on Wednesday, March the 19th. Worship begins at 10 p.m. at Jefferson Street Missionary Baptist Church. Let's go support our pastor in a major way. The Leadership Summit will be held on Saturday, March the 22nd, 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. This leadership training is required for all current leaders of The Grove, but is also open to those who are interested in becoming leaders at The Grove. The summit will include breakfast, strategic leadership training from Pastor Faison and staff, and a session with our special guest, Bishop Joseph Walker III of Mount Zion Baptist Church. This Leadership Summit will bless your life and make you a better leader. Registration is free. Sign up today after service. We'll see you there. Sunday, March the 23rd at 3 p.m., Faith United Baptist Church will celebrate their church anniversary. Pastor Faison is preaching and the Grove Choir will minister in song. March the 30th is the first fifth Sunday of the year. That means we will be worshiping together for one service at 10 a.m. This day, we will observe Young Adult College Sunday as we celebrate the partners of our congregation, ages 18 to 35. As always, there will be surprise special guests, giveaways, and blessings everywhere you turn. Most importantly, God will be here using our young adults to worship Him in a way that is authentic to their generation. Don't miss it. Young Adult College Sunday, March the 30th, one service at 10 a.m. Sunday, March the 30th at 4 p.m., Greater Harvest Kojic, Friends and Family Day. Pastor Faison is preaching and the Grove Choir will minister in song. Don't forget, your Partner of the Month nominations are due every fourth Sunday. Greetings to the Grove. What's going on, Washington Grove? Listen, pray that you're having a blessed Sunday. Uh, this is a vacation Sunday for me and the family, uh, just getting away uh, so we can be refreshed to come back to you. And thank you for that time. Certainly appreciate that. Uh, but just a few reflections today I want to share. Uh, first of all, this is week two of our corporate fast, week two of our Lenten season fast. And this week we're praying that the church will uh, be intergenerational. In other words, we'll have the ability to connect across uh, generation and age divides. We are a church that spans from newborn babies all the way to those in their 90s. Uh, we want to make sure that we are an environment uh, and a church where everybody can grow regardless of what generation you find yourself in. There's a place for everybody at the Grove and we're praying that God will continue to help us do that. So our fast for this week of course there is the food fast and food fast is no fried foods uh, plus no caffeine. Amen. <laughs> no fried foods, no caffeine. Pray, pray for your pastor. You know I'm a coffee drinker. I'm going to need your prayers just like you need mine. Uh, uh, our activity fast is uh, no television for one week. So if you choose to do that, that's what the activity fast is. If you can't do the food, you can do the activity. Fasting from television for an entire week, for six days, all the way until Sunday. Then there is the, the financial fast. The financial fast this week is uh, no eating out this week and then taking that money 
that you save from eating out and giving it to a charity that feeds the hungry. This gives us an opportunity to sacrifice so that others might be blessed. So these are our three fasts for the week. Pray that you'll engage in either uh, one of the three or a combination of the three. But the key here is not what you give up. It's what you gain. It's how God is able to invade our space as we move some things out and embrace uh, what he wants to share with us during this season. And it's ABC Sunday. ABC Day here at the Grove is that day where we set aside time uh, to be a blessing to American Baptist College. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with American, American Baptist College, uh, my predecessor, former pastor, uh, uh, Reverend Curtis Goodwin Sr., was a graduate of American Baptist College. Uh, that college was able to produce several, several uh, world-renowned and great preachers out of that institution that, are, that have served for years and are serving till this very day. So today, on behalf and in remembrance of Pastor Goodwin, I'm going to ask you that you would help me uh, to make a contribution to American Baptist College. During our offering time, we're going to set aside a separate basket uh, that allows you to sow a seed into American Baptist College. Listen, I'm going to ask that you do me one favor. I'm going to ask that every partner of the Grove uh, we'll take $1, uh, just invest $1 into that ABC basket, and we'll take that this evening uh, to American Baptist College Day and give that uh, contribution to American Baptist College in remembrance and in honor of Pastor Goodwin. Listen, join me in this effort to be a blessing to those college students uh, uh, who, who need the extra assistance, but also to remember uh, former pastor here of Watson Grove, Pastor Goodwin. Let's do it in a big way uh, to honor him and to be a blessing to those who need it. It's preaching time here at The Grove. Listen, and I'm excited today because I get to introduce uh, one of my sons in the ministry here at The Grove. His name is Minister Jeremiah Parks. You know Minister Parks. Uh, many of you uh, who've been at, at The Grove for a while knew his older brother who passes in Memphis. But Minister Parks is a wonderful, wonderful young preacher who God is doing amazing things in his life. Uh, he is a junior at American Baptist College. Uh, uh, and it's fitting that on ABC Day, uh, a student from ABC shares. But I selected him because he's with us. And he serves on a regular basis. He serves uh, as an assistant with me. He does wonderful things in the youth ministry. One of the things I'm excited about uh, Minister Parks is... Uh, uh, people across the nation are, are beginning to discover who he is and the preaching gift that he has. I'm excited to share with you that this year at the Hampton Ministers Conference, Hampton University Ministers Conference in Hampton, Virginia, on the campus of Hampton University, it is a national, national level preacher's conference. People come from all over the world and even all over the, the globe, all over the globe and all over the nation uh, to, to be a part of this conference. Well, Minister Parks and I have an opportunity this year to both preach at this conference. Yeah, I'm excited for him. Uh, God is doing amazing things in his life, and God is, God is using him in incredible ways. But today, here at our 1045 service, he gets to preach the gospel. And my prayer is that you'll receive the gospel and receive the word that he preaches and shares today. Listen, treat him like you treat me. In other words, matter of fact, treat him better than you treat me. Uh, if he says something that blesses you, give him an amen, and I promise he'll bless your so God's going to use him in a major, major way. Do me a favor. Take your right hand, stretch it towards our preacher, and say, Lord... Bless Minister Parks. Say, Lord, bless our preacher. Say, Lord, bless my neighbor. And then, Lord, come holler at me. Listen, uh, Minister Parks is going to come share the word, but first the choir is going to lead us further in worship. Let's greet them by saying amen. Stay connected with us on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube, or learn more about us by visiting our website at watsongrovembc.org.